So here, we're adding fractions with the same denominator, but we have two answer boxes. That's because when we add these fractions, we'll get more than one whole, which means we can write our answer as both an improper fraction and a mixed number. So when we're adding fractions, we keep the denominator the same in our answer, and 5 plus 2 is 7, so as an improper fraction, we have 7 sixths. That's 1 and 1 sixth as a mixed number, because 7 divided by 6 is 1 remainder 1, and the denominator stays the same. Now we have 4 fifths plus 4 fifths. We're adding fractions with the same denominator, so the denominator stays the same in our answer, and 4 plus 4 is 8. So as an improper fraction, we have 8 fifths, which is 1 and 3 fifths as a mixed number, because 8 divided by 5 is 1 remainder 3, and the denominator stays the same. Now, 6 sevenths plus 5 sevenths. 6 plus 5 is 11, and the denominator stays the same, so we have 11 sevenths as our improper fraction. As a mixed number, that's 1 and 4 sevenths, because 11 divided by 7 is 1 remainder 4. Now, our denominators are the same, so the denominator stays the same in the answer, and 4 plus 5 is 9, so 9 eighths is our improper fraction, which means our mixed number is 1 and 1 eighth, because 9 divided by 8 is 1 remainder 1, and the denominator always stays the same. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe, or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.